Hello, everyone. I'm Kat Timpf, and this is Fox News Saturday Night. It's Thanksgiving weekend, a time when many of us enjoy gathering with family. And some enjoy having enough days off in a row to quietly recover from minimally invasive cosmetic procedures while their coworkers are none the wiser. To everyone watching, because they're a fan of mine, thank you so much for your love and support. And to everyone watching, because they're at home with their parents who never turn off Fox News, hi, I'm Kat, and thank you. Whoever you are, I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving full of gratefulness for what you have and a wonderful Black Friday full of realizing that gratitude is no reason to stop from committing physical violence to get the stuff that you still need. There must be a terrible man around here somewhere. Oh, oh. The last one just left. Um, some lady had it on layaway. A lady? Yeah. What lady? Uh, 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 just short, uh, short. Uh, with, with fur coat. Fur, fur coat. coat. Uh -huh. Sorry, buddy. Oh. Oh. Jingle all the way. Once you realize that Arnold goes through all that less because he wants to make his son happy and more so his wife won't find out that he lied, the movie is a lot less heartwarming. I mean, Arnold accidentally winding up in a Turbo Man suit should not have been enough for her to stay in that marriage. Anyway, although Thanksgiving may be over, it's just the beginning of the holiday season. There's Christmas, there's Hanukkah, there's that office holiday party with an open bar, or as I like to call it, a trap. This is still an office, and even though it's dark outside, the rules don't turn off. The rules may not turn off, but your inhibitions can. Free booze is not so free if it starts tasting like your boss would be impressed to see that you know all the words to My Pony by Genuine. You really don't want to have to explain to your family that that's what costs you your job in the house. Speaking of, a lot of people find the holidays with their family to be extremely stressful, especially if they're hosting. One firm just did a survey about holiday hosting, and some of the numbers were kind of weird. 41% expect guests to not go into closed rooms without their permission. I know, sex dungeons are a lot more popular than I thought they were. 71% that it takes them at least a full day to prepare to have guests over. It's a crying shame the older kids couldn't make it. I'll, I'll get that, don't worry about it. <clears throat> now, let me do it. To which New Yorkers said, we get it, your home is more than one room. 25% said hosting requires more mental preparation than physical preparation which sounds like exactly the excuse that I'm gonna use when my family asks me why I'm just sitting there in my childhood room over Christmas instead of helping with the vacuuming. Americans in that survey also said that if they were hosting a party, they would be ready for it to be over after almost two and a half hours. Just two and a half hours? That's not even enough time for me to watch my favorite Christmas movie, Eyes Wide Shut. <laughs> My advice, if you want to make hosting easier on yourself, use disposable plates and silverware. You won't have to do any dishes, and your niece who just got back from college will have so much fun yelling at you for killing the planet that she won't leave early to spend the rest of her night with her polycule. It might be the most time you'll get to spend with her all year. Or if you hate hosting that much, you could just not do it. Baby, did I say something wrong? You said a lot of things wrong. You want to meet Grandma? <laughs> well, here she is. Of course, you'd be given up a huge opportunity to feel better and more important than everyone else. By the way, I think the best way to talk politics at the dinner table is to just not. That's why I always come prepared with some less controversial prompts to steer the conversation if it starts heading that way. Stuff like, it sure is cold out there, or how about them lions, or... Everyone here is gonna die. Who do you think will be first? Listen, I know that it can be tempting to wanna set your family members straight over their offensive political views, but the truth is, no matter how passionate you are about a topic, yelling at your ancient aunt or uncle isn't gonna help. Even if you get them to agree with you, it's not like they can do anything to change it. Well, unless, of course, you'll also have to deal with that one aunt who keeps grilling you about why you're single. Family really wants you to have a relationship. Yes, I know. That's very clear. So, my early Christmas present for you is a blind date. I love it. He loves it. I get it. That's tough. 
You're upset because you don't want to disappoint your aunt, not because you're disappointed in yourself. Speaking of disappointment, if you're someone who gets depressed around the winter months, the Mayo Clinic has come out with some advice to save you. Getting 30 minutes to two hours of natural sunlight per day. Wow, thank you, Mayo Clinic. I'll just find the time and sunshine to lay out and sunbathe for 14 hours a week in the middle of winter. And here I thought you wouldn't have any practical advice. Anyway, the holidays are a super busy time. There are a lot of places to be. Another survey found that the average American visits five different houses, to which New Yorkers said, dude, we get it, you guys have houses. Anyway, the same survey found that 22% said they wish that New Year's parties were skippable this year. New Year's is the worst night of all to go out. People who don't drink, let's party all year, suddenly going all Kanye on you. <laughs> Weird. I didn't realize that 22% of you were being forced into the club at gunpoint. Although that does make a lot more sense than all of you actually going there willingly on purpose. Just to listen to a bunch of cranked up ringtones and fight with cokeheads for a bathroom stall when you need to throw up all the well vodka you chug trying to make it fun. Look, I'm not exactly the holliest jolliest person. I've said before that putting up a Christmas tree is just making a mess you'll have to clean up later. I might learn that the hard way because I actually just cut down my first real tree and I'm gonna show you the video in a little bit. But even so, I really love this time of year because I actually love to spend time with my own family. No matter what the situation with yours is, the best way to have the best day is to put differences aside and focus on the things that can bring people together. Like making fun of whatever toxic couple just posted their engagement news on Instagram. The aunts will love the gossip, and if the uncles seem uninterested, just raise the stakes and place bets on how, they'll, how long they'll last. If you still find yourself overwhelmed by the hustle and bustle of the holiday season, don't worry. You'll be having a sad, lonely, boring, fat February before you know it. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.